electronic tonic here and um, I got my Tesla coil built and I was in the middle of tuning it and I was tuning it in the usual fashion with uh, just hooking it up to a function generator and sending that signal through through a resistor and then to the base of the coil and measuring the voltage drop across the resistor here um, so I got you know input channel 1 and output on channel 2 the blue one and just the, the usual method you um, tune the frequency to wherever it is that it just happens to be the lowest amplitude on the output and that's right about there at 106 kilohertz and of course that has to be done when you're standing away from the coil because if you put your hand next to it or if you stand near it then that changes the capacitance and the output voltage increases if you if I apply my hand next to it or on it, then you can see I've got this voltage swing going on. And I was wondering, you know, this is pretty much the same operation as a theremin. A theremin has, you know, it operates on resonant frequency based on capacitance, um, you know, of your hand next to some kind of antenna. And so I decided to actually build one with my previous um, Tesla coil secondary. You can see I've got the there's a good ground connection right there, and just a 555 timer, um, op amp, and another 555 timer for the audio. This one is for the um, the high frequency generation, and um, batteries and speaker, and a precision potentiometer to tune the resonant frequency. So let me turn it on here. Okay, I'm going to explain how this works all Jerry Ellsworth style with, uh, with paper and transparency overlay. Um, this is the, uh, the main oscillator right here, the 555 timer, just you know the basic standard configuration for our frequency generator. Um, generates, in this case, 425 kilohertz, which is the resonant frequency of the, the uh, LC circuit going on here with the coil and the top load. Um, got a precision potentiometer uh, for you know making sure that it's tuned to exactly 425 kilohertz or thereabout. And so then we go through the, the resistor and then um, that, that frequency, that square wave gets pumped into the LC resonance circuit and in this case if it's at resonance then the voltage at this node will be very low. It's little, you know, because it's a square wave. There's a lot of noisy squigglies going on here. But if it was a if it was a sinusoid input, then this would be a, also a very nice sinusoid. Um, so then, what I do there is I just rectify it and filter it. I use a 1N 5819 um, shot key diode because it switches at very high frequency, and um, so. So at that point we just have a straight DC line. Um, and then I got my voltage controlled oscillator, just another 555 circuit um, that I would like to feed this into, but I need to do some some uh, little voltage conversion with the 741 circuit to, um, to convert this into something that this one could better understand. Um, if I didn't do that then as my hand gets closer to the coil, the frequency would would go would go down instead of up. And I want it to be more like a theremin where the frequency goes up as your hand gets closer to it. Um, so let's see what happens when you do put your hand next to it. When you put your hand next to it, you uh, you introduce some extra capacitance and then this 
then the natural resonant frequency of this LC circuit would be different than what's actually being, being pumped into it and so the voltage on this node increases to a jagged sinusoid kind of shape um, and then if I rectify and filter that then it's a smooth straight line a little bit higher voltage um, and then to convert that to a usable voltage for the VCO I have to amplify it and invert it so that'll make it go down down to almost zero volts and that'll give me a high frequency audio output this really isn't the best circuit to use I mean it would be much nicer if I had used some kind of sinusoidal function generator instead of making this uh, square wave which results in some really noisy crap over here um, but basically it it works that's that's what I was trying to to get accomplished something that would reasonably work like a theremin and this thing works very well this thing has a very unique way of operating um, it's it's uh, much more sensitive on the top near the top load than it is on the bottom you can see I got my I can get my hand very close to it even touching the bottom of it nothing happens until I move up to a certain point that's when it becomes sensitive and it's just this, this big imaginary cone where if I keep my hand on a straight line on a straight um, angled line from the parallel then uh, I can get about the same frequency and there's also this other effect where I reach a certain point and then the frequency starts going down again but that's just because of all the, the noise associated with uh, with the square wave generator. If it was a sinusoid I don't think this would happen. It would just be a constant increase in pitch all the way up. Another cool thing about this is that the, uh, you get some weird jiggly noises. The top load is just a bunt pan, bunt cake pan. All I gotta, gotta do now is figure out how to play a song on this damn thing. Thanks for watching.